This is Alex Nye, Instructional Technologist at the Community College of Aurora. In this video, we will look at D2L's Locker Storage System. D2L's Locker is a temporary file storage system. You can compare it to a virtual flash drive or a cloud drive. It is best used when you have to move to a different computer to work on an assignment. A file may be saved in the locker and then downloaded to a different computer for further editing. Let's have a look at how it works. To access your locker, click on the locker link at the top of your D2L homepage. In this area, you will find all of your saved files and have the option of adding new files. The D2L locker resembles a file storage system in that you can create folders to organize your files. One thing to keep in mind is the file storage limit of 9.77 megabytes. While this amount can store a large number of documents, larger files such as PowerPoints, audio files, and PDFs may not fit. Let's start by creating a new folder that will house my documents. Click on the New Folder button. Then give your folder a name and click Create to save it. Now that I have a folder, if I click on the link, I can go inside and add my documents. To add a new document to this folder, click on the Upload Files link at the top of the page. Here you may choose to give your file a description, or click on the Upload button to just put your file onto the locker. Once I click the Save button at the bottom, my document will be stored in my new folder. Now let's say that I'd like to move to another computer to work on my file. Back on my home page, I would want to visit the locker link again at the top of the page, and then open up my folder, and when I click on the link of the document, it will ask me to either open it or save it. It's best to save it on your computer, that way you can edit it, resave it, and then put it back into the locker. Now that I have it saved, let's say that I've made some changes to the document and I would like to replace the one that's already here. To put my updated copy, I would want to hit the Upload Files button again, choose Upload, and then find the file that you have been working on. If you haven't changed the name of the file, the system will ask if you want to overwrite the existing file. If you do this, this will put your more updated copy into the locker. Remember to use this process to update any files you have been working on before you leave a computer. This same process will work with any kind of file type, not just documents. So you can see how the D2L Locker can be a handy feature if you find yourself working on multiple computers.